हेलो गाइस दिस इज जय वर्धन सिंह राणावत एंड आई वेलकम यू टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ मरीन वेल्स दिस इज गोना बी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एपिसोड ऑफ द मरीन वेल्स बिकॉज इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू क्लियर अ मरीन इंजीनियरिंग इंटरव्यू यस वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू क्लियर अ मरीन इंजीनियरिंग इंटरव्यू लॉट ऑफ यू पीपल हैव आस्क्ड अस how do we clear marine engineering interviews we do not know, we do not know how to crack an interview we do not know how to sit for an interview we do not know what are the things that are required before going into an interview room what are the things that you should improve in yourself before going into that interview room so this is the video in which we will tell you what all you have to do before you join a company as, and you have to give the interview of that company so first we will tell you the things which you need to improve in yourself the things which you need to do the things which you need to work on yourself before you enter that interview room so this is the video in which we tell you all these things so the first thing to consider before going into an interview room is learn about the person who is taking the interview yes this is so important it depends on the person who is taking your interviews go through your seniors learn about that person through your seniors who are already placed in that company that how that person takes the interview what kind of questions that particular person asks what kind of questions that that particular interview asks and what is the way what is the style of him taking the interview of candidates this is so important once you research about that you need to prepare yourself according to that manner if the interviewer is lenient he asks simple questions then work upon simple questions if the interviewer is asking tough technical questions then you need to strengthen your technical part if the interviewer is asking only personal questions then you need to focus on your personal part and if the interviewer asks lot of safety question then you need to strengthen your safety aspect so it totally depends on who the interviewer is so it is very important that you carry out your research on who the interviewer is and what kind of questions that interviewer asks number 2 strengthen your technical knowledge this is so important i need to tell this to the people who are studying in marine engineering colleges it is so important that you strengthen your technical knowledge first because you are joining this field as a marine engineer you are a technical person you need to have a good good very amazing technical knowledge about the subjects that you have been studying in this college for 4 years so now this is the time if you have not uh got a good technical knowledge this is the time where you can get good technical knowledge so before you go into that interview room strengthen your technical knowledge read about the subjects like marine ic engines and marine auxiliary engines and electricals and tanker operations these are some of the most important subjects that you need to learn have to learn before going into that interview room so strengthen your technical knowledge is the second point do not forget that it is most important third point is prepare for personal questions this is so important i need to tell it to people all the time how important it is that you work on your personal aspect you cannot have wrong answers in this you cannot fumble while giving these answers because now you are talking about yourself the interviewer is asking you questions about yourself and how can you fumble while talking about yourself how can you stammer while talking about yourself no you cannot you need to the answer these questions in a very confident manner and in a very proper way because you are talking about yourself and it gives a very good impression when a person talks about himself in a very confident manner in a very in a proper flow and with a smile on his face so you need to be confident you need to learn how to give answers to the personal questions if you haven't watched this video click the i button and watch this amazing incredible video that we have created on personal questions what are the different personal questions that are asked in interviews of, of all the shipping companies yes not even the single shipping companies companies left all the shipping company we have also written one book regarding basic marine engineering interview questions this book contains the questions of hundreds of questions regarding basic marine engineering interview questions all the personal questions all the technical questions the link is in the description below do buy this book it will add a lot of value to your interview preparations moving on the next point is Give mock interviews. What are you waiting for? You are going into that interview room without any preparation. It's not gonna happen. No matter how many, how much technical technical knowledge you have, no much how much you have prepared for your personal aspect, no much how may, uh, no matter how much confidence that you have, 
it is very important to give mock interviews put yourself in that real scenario tell your friend to take your interview tell your friend to ask you personal questions ask you technical questions and put yourself in that situation first in which you can realize that how it's gonna be once you go into that interview room because if you are not prepared then it's gonna be very difficult for you to answer once you go into that room because there's gonna be so much pressure in your head when he asks you the questions that you don't know the answers of so learn how to tackle those questions of, of which you do not know any answer if you want me to make a video on how to tackle these kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below but for now learn how to tackle these kind of questions give lots of mock interviews to your friends increase your ability speaking ability before you go into that interview room the next point is read about latest maritime news you are going into that interview room without any preparation on what is happening in the outside world no it doesn't work like that you need to learn about latest maritime news go through some of the web pages uh, learn it from your friends who already have some knowledge about maritime news just get the gather a quick knowledge about uh, what is happening in the maritime industry what is happening in the world also the major topics just get an overview of those topics because many a times it happens that the interviewer asks you the question all the current affairs or the current affairs in the maritime industry so you need to learn about that any accidents major accidents that has happened in the industry right now that you must be aware of as a marine engineering student so you need to keep this thing in mind so the next point is improve your communication skills so important it is that a person go into that interviewer room and speak in a fluous english if you cannot speak with a complete flow I'm not saying that you need to speak uh, English like a maniac. You need to first you need to start a sentence and then you need to finish at the end in a very fast manner. I'm not saying that, but whatever sentences that you are saying, those sentences sentences should come in a flow. You should not stammer while giving the answer. You should not fumble with words. So these are the things to keep in mind before you go into that interview room. That you need to work upon your english you need to work upon the way you speak your english you should not stammer you should not speak the word uh mm, so these kind of words you should not speak which a lot of people speak uh, while speaking english so you should work upon that and those things will only come when once you start giving mock interviews so go back to the point uh, point by which i mentioned earlier and this point both these points connect together and you are ready to go so the next point is wait for some time before answering lot of people lot of people do this mistake is that whenever the interviewer asks you the questions of which you know the answers the moment the interviewer asks you the question you start answering now this gives a very bad impression that you are not taking a time to think whether you have heard the question correctly or the interviewer is uh, may, may ask any uh, some more relative question to that in a after two or three seconds you do not know you are not even listening properly the moment the interviewer finishes hits his sentence you are starting your sentence and this is a very bad situation to put yourself in once the interviewer finishes his question look at him wait for a period of at least at least minimum four to five seconds and then start answering even though you know the answer you clearly know the answer and you are very excited about answering this question in a proper manner do not start answering before at least four to five seconds after the interviewer finishes his question it gives a very bad impression if you start answering the question immediately wait for some time and then answer so the next point is do not answer wrong I know you people have done this mistake in the past or some of you are going to do this mistake even now also is that when an interviewer asks you a question it's not necessary that you answer that question if you do not know the answer clearly say that sorry sir I do not know the answer right now but I will find it out later or sorry sir I do, can't recall it uh, recall this answer right now but I will find it out later answer this question in a proper manner but why to answer wrong especially in technical questions on safety questions people answer wrong and this gives a very very bad impression that a person is ask, answering wrong it's fine if you do not know the answer no one is 
uh, criticizing you for that but if you answer wrong then it gives a very 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 bad impression that this person is answering wrong this should not happen once you are in an interview room you should not answer wrong even a single question keep this thing in mind you should not answer wrong it's better not to answer than answering wrong now the next point is you should show a good confident body language once you are in that room sitting in front of that interviewer that interviewer should feel that he is taking the interview of a person who is confident about himself the person who is not so much nervous that he is uh, reducing his his own confidence level and he is not able to speak properly you should speak with a good voice uh, confident voice you sh your posture should be very confident and it should um, give a message to the interviewer once you sit in that room that yes this is a person who is confident about himself and he is going to answer all the question in a proper manner your confidence matters the most what a person sees the first in you is your confidence not your knowledge so the first improve your confidence how to speak how to sit how to behave with people how to behave in a professional situation how to behave in an interview learn about that show a confident body language do not stammer okay your hands should not like uh, your hands should not fumble like this okay keep your hands steady be calm be cool have a nice body posture straight back all these things will give you a good confidence and this will this thing will also be definitely noticed by that interviewer now the next thing is and it is the most most important thing is that prepare safety related questions it gives a very 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 bad impression when a person cannot answer a safety question or even a bad impression when a person answers a safety question wrong this is a particular type of question in which you just cannot go wrong you must be right and you must know the answer of every single safety question so prepare your safety part it is up to you i have seen people who give amazing technical interview who have amazing communication skills who have amazing confidence but they did not got selected just because they answered even one safety question wrong yes it is not at all accepted that you answer safety questions wrong or even you don't know about any safety questions you must know about every single safety question asked by that interviewer or and you should also know the answer correctly this is so much of importance that i should mention you that you need to start working on your safety portion right now click the link in the description below buy this book that we have created it contains amazing safety questions and amazing answers written in that also so work upon your safety part improve your safety knowledge ask to your teachers start learning from your friends who are elder than you start communicating with your seniors that what are those questions related to safety that can be asked learn this or read this book that we have created and then you are ready to go in an interview room with all your safety questions prepared now last but not the least this is also a very important point when you are sitting in an interview room you should always have a smile on your face it is so important no one wants to look at a face at a dull face like this everyone wants to see a smiling face because smiling face shows nothing but confidence that this person is happy being sitting in this interview room he is not nervous he is not regretting the decision like he oh god why have i come in this interview room now i am now regretting i am not able to face this interview it should not express like that you should have a smile on your face a pleasant smile not like you should not you should never show your teeth like this but you should have a pleasant smile like this at least this much is my smile has to be there on your face throughout the interview even if you don't know any answer even if you are in a situation where you have not been answering the three or four questions consecutively you are in so much of stress and so much of pressure still the smile should not go away from your face because it gives a, an amazing impression in the mind of interviewer that still this person is confident about himself that he can crack this interview even after not knowing these kind of questions so put a smile on your face give him a pleasant experience of taking an interview and he should also know that 
you are one among hundreds who have smile on their faces even after all the odds so guys this was the video for today that we have created for you this was one of the most important videos on our channel share this video with every single friend of yours who is give, who is going to give a marine engineering interview learn this video yourself watch this video again learn about the points jot down the points that we have mentioned in this video and work upon every single point that we have mentioned watch this video again share this video if you have liked this video then click the like button subscribe to this channel for such amazing content in future also comment in the comment section what are the things that you have liked in this video on and also on which topics that you want me to make videos on if you want me to make videos on technical topics some of the technical uh, portions then i am ready to make uh, videos on that also so that it can help you in your interviews so and also follow us on facebook and instagram i have provided the link in the description below as you can see on the screen also these are the instagram and facebook handles of our page so this was the video for today guys i hope this video has added a lots and lots of value into your life and so this was it this was jayawardhan singh ranawat from the marine wales signing off thank you